Welcome back everybody to Miss D's Pantry. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. Today I have some recipes for some ramen and this was highly requested on my Instagram so make sure you follow me over there. And this first recipe you're just going to boil your ramen. I have cilantro, carrots, radishes, red peppers, and scallions. I have a little bit of liquid in there and I'm going to add those to the pot and then I'm gonna stir this one you want to cook all the liquid out and make sure that they're soft but not too soft like mush I have some uh, avocado and some cilantro, sriracha and sriracha mayo that I'm just gonna garnish on the top with and that's that recipe the next one we're gonna use is uh, that's bok choy there so I just cut that up and then I have a radish and a jalapeno that I'm going to add to that also. This one is going to have just a little bit more liquid in it. Tip for you guys, if you want to add sauce and stuff and really make it stick to the noodles, you want to cook this. Um, it doesn't need to be hard and it doesn't need to be super soft, but you want that starch to release so that um, any sauces or anything will stick to the ramen. I'm just going to top that off with some teriyaki sauce and that is the recipe for this one. This next one here, I have some miso soup and you're going to cook this until the flakes expand and then you're going to add your ramen to it. Uh, any packs that come with the ramen, I didn't add them because the miso has so much flavor. And this one was really simple, but it's great if you're feeling sick or anything. I love this one. Next recipe, I am using a different kind of ramen. This one was from the um, International Isle in my grocery store. And I'm using a Boca chicken patty. And I added flakes and the powder to the ramen because that's what comes with it but you want to cook that until the flakes expand and i also cook some mushrooms and then added teriyaki sauce i also cracked an egg and i have some kimchi that i paired with it but i just put everything on top and then when you crack the egg it's going to add more flavor and also thicken up the sauce there next recipe we have here we're gonna boil some eggs and use ramen the ramen i'm using mostly in this video is oriental flavor um it's like 60 cent in your grocery store but i have some eggs the cucumbers onions peppers mushrooms i'm just gonna cut all that up and then I'm going to garnish everything with a little honey sriracha seasoning and some goji jang, which is like a Korean barbecue sauce. And uh, this one has a little bit of liquid in it too. I usually don't use too much of the liquid with my ramen recipes unless I'm making something a bit more like soup. Um, but that is this recipe here. Next one, we are going for uh, something like pho, or some people pronounce it pho, which is a Vietnamese noodle soup. I'm going to put the ramen in there and add some peeled and deveined shrimp to that. I'm going to cook it until the shrimp are fully cooked. And this one, you're going to have a lot of um, liquid in there. You want your shrimp to really season this broth. It's all about the broth here. So for this one, you can actually use like beef broth instead of just regular water. And I have some shredded lettuce, carrots, onions, green peppers. You can also use a lime, uh, basil, cilantro, and I just have some sriracha and teriyaki, which I'm going to mix together to make that kind of spicy sweet sauce that they always serve with the pho. And I'm just showing you the shrimp and noodles are actually done. This one is a fun one because you're going to serve this uh, kind of deconstructed in a way. And then you're going to build it 
when you're eating it. This is like something you can eat with someone else. So I put the broth first and then added the noodles and shrimp to it. And then when you sit down, you can just add little by little your other accoutrements on it. So that is that one. And this last one here is like a carbonara, but with ramen. So we're going to crack an egg for a traditional carbonara sauce. And you're going to crack that egg into the bowl. And then you're going to add some Parmesan cheese to it. And then you're just going to whisk it together until the egg and cheese blend together. No lumps or anything. So while you're doing that, you can actually begin cooking your ramen. And I use the same ramen as I showed you earlier, the one with the flakes inside of it. So I also have some bacon here that I'm cooking because you can't have a good carbonara without bacon. So I'm just cooking some bacon. And there's the ramen I was talking about. And I didn't add the package to it. I just added the flakes um, so that they could, you're going to cook them until they expand. That's going to add a little bit more texture to the ramen. And you don't want any of the liquid there. After the bacon is cooked, you want to chop it. And then while everything is still hot, you're just going to add the noodles to the bacon and then add your egg mixture which is your sauce and the heat was not on by the way i just used that pan to mix everything together and that's what it looks like just top it with a little bit more parmesan cheese and that is it guys um leave your comments down below and don't forget to check the description box and i will see you guys in the next video